welcome back to my channel everyone i'm here today to show you how to use an airbrush machine with gel polish this is a game changer in the fact that you can use gel polish if you do it correctly it goes on so nice when you airbrush it so i want to show you my airbrush machine this one is off of amazon and i will put the link down in the description it really is a game changer now that I know how to use gel polish to airbrush. Everyone's gonna wanna have one of these, so I'll just pull it out and show you everything that comes with this one. So with this airbrush machine, of course, it has an instruction manual and tells you everything about it. I'm not going to read it all right now. And there's your little airbrush right here. Love how it's packaged already. And then here is the base. I do have another airbrush machine, but this one is just so much easier to use for doing nails. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to screw it into the top of this. It's that easy. Look how pretty. And this is rechargeable, so I'll show you everything it comes with. So we've got the bottles for mixing, which is nice, you get three. And I like how they do the lids on these now. They never used to have lids, so you just don't get as big a mess. And that just screws on. And I'll just show you here. So that is gonna go, and there's of course the cord for charging. But first of all, I wanna show you, so this, goes right on here like this like I said real simple and this one is a really good price on Amazon so there is the cord so I'm just gonna grab that first now these two I should tell you like I said they're mixing you can put them on in the same spot as I put the silver one so it's nice you have the extras So there's the plug-in to charge it and I'll tell you how long this charges for in a minute okay so there it is it's charging right now now I'm gonna turn this on for you so you can hear it so this shows that it's on low that's the airflow you're getting I don't know if you can see the low there but there it is and then I'm gonna push it again and now it's on high airflow and down again that turns it off so to use the airbrush machine once I have my gel polish in it it's just this little trigger and you don't need to push it really hard there it is I'm just gonna turn it off for a minute so this airbrush machine will automatically shut down when it's getting hot so that's a good feature so this airbrush needs 43 to 62 minutes to fully charge. So I'm just gonna let it charge right now. And I am gonna be doing a client's nails and showing you how well it works. So we'll also explain to you how much of the gel polish you put in and how much of whatever else I'm gonna be using to add to it will be put in to, in order to use gel polish with it. So. I will get to that right away when I'm working on my client. And the LED display on the airbrush will show battery status. It means the fully it's fully charged when it gets to the five bars. So it's fully gonna be charged when it's at the five bars, which is good. And I love it because it can stand upright. So that's good. So yeah, I'll get into using it right away and showing you what to add to it in order to use gel polish. And I do have one more thing from Amazon that I bought are these little containers and these are perfect because I'm gonna put acetone in these 
in one of these and then I'm also going to use one for a monomer and one for my brush cleaner I think so I was lucky that they had a set of three so I'll put that link down below from Amazon as well so you can find these so before I get started with my client, I'm going to show you how to mix gel polish and what you need to add in order for the airbrush to work. So I'll do that first. So I've got two polishes here. So we've got a darker kind of brown, neutral and a lighter one. So I think I'll put the lighter one down first and I'll show you what we're going to do. So I took the lid off this. Now I'm just going to add some polish. So you're going to need like a few drops obviously of polish. You get it right in there. little bit more so now what you want to take is some acetone and I would say it's one part polish to two parts of acetone I'll squeeze a little bit in and then you want to use an old brush you want to mix it this has to be extremely runny in order for it to work so kind of very soupy almost as you can see I have it really runny so that looks pretty good now we're gonna test it out So I'm just going to put the lid back on and we'll test it out and see if it's thin enough. And you can see it's coming on there, so that's good. So it's ready, so I'm just going to grab a tip and show you. Okay, so we're going to test away. I'll show you, so it's got one coat. I'm going to cure it now, so you got to cure it, of course it is gel polish. So it'll go in the light for 30 seconds. So it's done curing. Now I'll do that second coat. Okay, so there's two coats. You can see it is covered. There's a few little dots in it, but with practice, a person gets better at how far to be away better. You can see it's really good coverage, a little bit of the dot still. Might not do it so much on the natural nail as it is on here. And it's gonna go right into the light. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that now, I'm going to show you how to clean this because I'm going to switch colors. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, it's good to have a little glass container or something that you can dump what's in this. So I'm just going to use this little glass container and I'm going to dump what's in here that we didn't use. And now I'm just going to grab some more of the acetone and I am going to spray it until it comes clear. And you can put your finger on here and you get bubbles and it, it'll clean it out even better. But if you do that, put the lid on. So I'm going to dump it again. 
add a little more and then keep spraying till it comes clean and then you can take your brush in there as well get anything off the sides clean it up Just one more time. And this time I want to clean in here as well so it doesn't get clogged up. So I'm just going to put the lid on quick. And we'll do the holding the front and pulling this back. And then I'll just help clean it. You can run some water through it too, that's not going to hurt it. Okay, and then just take my brush through, make sure it's clean good. You can always take just a wipe in there too, it's not hurting anything to get off. As you see, I made a bit of a mess, easy cleanup. Because it is gel, it's not paint, you just take some isopropyl alcohol and wipe everything down there and then we're ready for that new color that I'm going to be sticking in okay so we'll be using the darker one Okay, again, the same thing. I'm just going to add a few of these. Okay, and now I'm going to take the acetone again, more acetone than color, two parts to one. You'll know when it's good because it'll just be very runny, so we're very runny again. Just clean off the sides to get that extra of course and you're ready to go again. So we're going to try this color. Just gotta find my lid. So testing it here coming out good so that's good and I'll just show you if I turn it up comes out a little bit thicker like a little bit more so there so it's ready so we're gonna do a, an ombre on this one And as you go to the top, I'm going to turn it down. I don't want to go all the way up. So there you go with one. I'm going to cure that. So there it is cured. Do the second one.
And there's the second one. Okay, and now I'm just going to top coat it just to show you better. So how nice is that? It turned out so good. And I'm gonna do my client ombre nails too, so you can see how I do that. It might be in this video, or if it's, this video is gonna be too long, I'll do it a second video. But yeah, it works really good. I have a couple little dots, but that's just how the flow comes out. So it's easy to get that perfectly smooth. I just was showing you guys, but it's pretty darn good and it looks pretty nice. So, and yeah, I did go up here a little bit and I didn't need to, but on your client, before you put them in the light, you're going to wipe that away if you do get it on them. But yeah, it turns out really nice. I love it. So again, I'll have that link down in the description to buy the airbrush machine if you want to check it out. So the next video I'll upload to my channel will be my client's nails. I didn't want to make this video too long for you. Here is another tip that I did with the same colors. Up closer, how pretty. It works so good. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could please like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I will see you all in the next one.